Okay, in this video, I want to discuss Bayes' theorem. This is um, an HL only topic. Um, we started, this is Bayes' theorem according to our textbook, okay? The, the, the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of B given A times the probability of A all over the probability of B. Um, in a previous video, and I don't remember which one, I'll have to go back and look, we were making this, um, this Venn diagram, or not this Venn diagram, this, this tree diagram, um, and so we had said, okay, well, you have A, then not A, you have B, not B, B, not B. So the first thing that can happen is you either get A or you don't, and then you either get B or you don't for each of those scenarios. So we, we labeled um, everything. So this was the probability of A. This little branch right here would be the probability of B given that A has already happened. Okay, this one is the probability of, of not B given A. This is the probability of B given not A. This is the probability of not B given not A, okay? Um, and then what happened was, when you come all the way out to here, this is the probability of A intersect B. Then this becomes the probability of A intersect not B. This is um, A happened and not B happened, so that's the intersection. Uh, you have the probability of not A um, intersecting with B, so here's, here's the value. If you multiply this times this, you get that, and likewise here. Okay, so if I want to figure out what's the probability of A given B, okay, so let's say that we know that B happened. That means we're one of these two scenarios. Um, we want to know what's the probability that A happened. What we have to do is we say, okay, well, it's the probability, well, we know from before, from conditional probability, that the probability of A given B is equal to the intersection divided by the probability of B. So think back to um, a Venn diagram. If this is A and this is B, the probability of A given B is now saying, okay, there's the intersection divided by, we're now living in the world of B, okay? So if this was a one and this was a three, um, then the probability, like if we had, well, let me, let me just make up some numbers really fast. If this is one, two, three, four, I don't really care. Um, then the probability of A, this is A and this is B, the probability of A given B is, is equal to, well, there's two out of these whole five. So we've changed the world we're living in, um, and that notation was this back here, that the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of A intersect B divided by the probability of B. Well, looking back here, the probability of A intersect B is this, and that came from um, this right here. I need blank paper. Let's do it this way. Okay, so the probability of A given B is equal to, well, we just said that the probability of the intersection, which right here came from the fact that it was the probability of B given A times the probability of A. I would typically multiply these this way, but your formula that we're gonna see in just a second says this times this, which, okay, is the same as that times that, divided by the probability of B. Well, and then I have seen some versions um, where, they, where they keep going. They figure out what this probability of B is equal to, but we have just said that our textbook gives this exact formula. Okay, do you see how those two match? Um, so I've, I've seen in the past where they'll say something like, Bayes' theorem tells us the probability of A given B is equal to the probability of B given A times the probability of A divided by the probability of B where, and then they'll write out the probability of B is equal to, and they tell us what it's equal to. Well, let's look back at the Venn diagram. I keep saying Venn diagram, I'm so sorry. Then let's look back at the tree diagram, whatever this silly thing is, and how did I get B? Well, B, I came down this way, or I came this way. So it, you could think of it as the probability of A intersect B plus the probability of A not intersect B, but they would have actually said, the probability of B is equal to the probability of A times the probability of B given A plus, can you see what I'm writing? I'm sorry. Um, plus the probability of A not times the probability of B given A not. Okay, so I've seen this written before as this is Bayes' theorem and it tells you this is, if this is true, not where or when, when this is true right here. 
Okay, um, so next thing, um, let's look at an, an actual example. Okay, so here we go. I'm using the one from the book, and they tell us, this is the example from the book, they tell us a can contains four, um, four blue and two green marbles. One marble is randomly drawn without replacement, its color is noted. The second marble is drawn. Um, the book does it a little differently than it, what comes naturally to me. So I'm gonna do what I would, how I would think through this and then verify, make sure I did the, what the book did. Um, okay, so what I would do is, okay, well your first marble, either what happened? Either it was blue or it was green. Okay, oops, oh, sorry. Then the second marble that you're, that you're drawing, it's either, oh, you know what? Now I realize why they do it. Because it's blue or not blue. And then it's, okay, you know what, let's do this. To, to explain Bayes' theorem, let me do it the way that the book did. And what they did is they said, they gave us two events. And they said that the first event, A, is that the first marble is green. Okay, um, sorry, I had to think through this before I could see why they did it their way. Um, okay, so A is the first marble is green, and that B is the second marble is blue. So you've got... Two green, oh, you can't see what I'm doing. You've got two green out of, um, out of the total six marbles. So the probability of A is two out of six. And then therefore the probability of not A is that four out of six. Well then, now we wanna know the probability of B. Well, what was B? B was the second marble is blue. Okay, well, if we already got a green marble here, well now we still have four blue marbles um, out of the five that are left. Okay, so that's where that four-fifths comes from, therefore this is one-fifth. Then on the other one, okay, so we got, we didn't get this, so the first marble wasn't green, it was blue, so that means that there's now three blue out of the five that are left, and two not blue out of the five that are left. Okay, so then the first question says, find the probability, uh, where am I? Find the probability that the second marble is blue. Okay, so the second marble is blue is this. So what's the probability I needed to get here or here for that? Okay, so that means I've got two sixths times four fifths plus four sixths times three fifths. And can I clean this up at all? That's one third. Let's see. Well, this is eight over 30 plus 12 over 30 is equal to 20 over 30, which reduces to two over three, and I had written down the answer. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see my work. And I had written down the answer from before. So I got what the book said, fantastic. Okay, then the next question says, find the probability that the first marble was green given that the second marble was blue. Okay, so we want the probability the first marble is green. So that's the probability of A. A is the first marble is green. You can't see what I'm doing, hang on, probability of A, given that the second marble is blue. Given the second marble is blue is B. So we want the probability of A given B. Well, Bayes' theorem just told us that this is equal to the probability of B given A times the probability of A all over the probability of B. That's that from up here. Okay, so continuing on, we know that the probability of B given A the probability of B given A, that's this right here, is four fifths times, we want the probability, can you see what, I'm so sorry, um, the probability of A. The probability of A was two sixths divided by, well, we just said that the probability of B was two out of three. Okay, cleaning this up, I now have eight over 30 times, um, divided by two thirds, which is times three halves. That goes in there 10, this goes in there four, this becomes two fifths, which is the correct answer that I had written down from before. Okay, so that was using Bayes' theorem to figure out what was the probability that the first marble was green given that we already knew the second marble was blue. These take practice. Okay, so um, the more that I do them, the more I'm able to wrap my head around them. Um, and I've also found another trick is that I would write out the words. Okay, so sometimes, I, I maybe I should have done what the book did, 
A is this, B is this, and then kind of do A, A not, B, B not. But there was one problem you'll notice in my answer key where I wrote out, I wrote um, almost a whole sentence describing each part of the, of the tree diagram. So go practice. Good luck. Let me know if you have questions.